The best way to understand what earned value is, is by comparing with traditional ways of measuring performance. Most of the time, organizations, how do they evaluate uh, performance? They say, okay, at day 10, for example, I had a planet expenditure of 100 US dollars and an actual expenditures of 90. It means I am saving 10. Do you agree with me? Simple like that. This is how traditional uh, project management and traditional forecast is made. It's made by using this. So I'm saying I am in a good position here. Because why? Because I'm, I'm saving a little bit more. But when we see this, there is a big, big question. This is absolutely true. If you are producing the same thing here and here. Because let's suppose that you spend a hundred, sorry, you are planning to spend a hundred, spend 90, but produce something that is earned only 70. I will explain more about this. It means you're spending 90 to bring up something that is just worth 70, that is just earned 70 of value. And this is bad, this is not good. So on this perspective, because what you are thinking, you are thinking that the planet is what you earned. It's what you earned. And this is where the question is. Let me give you a simple, a super, super simple example on that for us to understand. And I always use the same example because it's very, very simple uh, to explain. Imagine that you need to build a wall, a very simple wall. Okay, and this wall, just to make it super simple, is made by one, two, three, four, six bricks. Okay, these six bricks and your project will come to an end when you pile up these six bricks. You know something, that each brick cost one, okay? And each brick, it's produced in one day. Very simple, okay? So this project, just by doing an analogy here and multiplying this, the budget of this project, it's what? Six, six dollars and the duration of this project is what? Six days. Okay, just one, one, six dollars in six days. Very simple. Let's suppose you are on day three. Day three. And then you need to go in two places to understand the concept of earned value. First, you go to your accounting area and you check how much money does this project spend. Let's suppose that it comes that you spend two dollars. Let me stop here. If you stop at this moment and take a look on this, you will say, wow, I'm I'm spending less because if it's six days, six means approximately one dollar per day. So I was supposed to spend three. I spend what? Two means I'm in a good shape. But this is just a single view. Let me now move to another view. You go there with your phone and you take a photo of the wall and you see this. You see that only one brick 
is in place. So it means you look and see what? One brick. Means what you earned, what you earn, you earned one brick because this is the physical result of what you produce. And how much is worth this one brick? Not, not I'm saying market, but in terms of your budget. How much is worth? It's worth each of them one. It means you earned one. Look how crazy. You earned one, but to earn one, you spent two. It means you, you open your wallet, took out two, to produce something that is only worth one because it's just one brick. What is happening here? You are late and you are over budget. Why you are late? Because on day three, what is expected? If you are planning to build six bricks in six days, on day three means three bricks. How many bricks you saw physically? Just one. So you were late. Two bricks. Two bricks means two dollars. And to, be, to make it things even worse, you spend two to get something that is worth only one. Means you threw away one dollar on these three days because one dollar became the brick and the other dollar was just wasted in something else. This is the sense. And what is the sense of the earned value? Everything you will learn in this course goes on the magic of looking and trying to understand in budget terms what you really produced physically. And, and why this is so important? Because you will see in the upcoming chapters that Earned value is not something to be used in any project you want. It must have some very specific pattern for you. Because if you cannot evaluate what you earned, it becomes truly impossible for you to apply the concept properly. This is very easy because on the brick I can see. But for example, if you're using on an innovation project, it becomes very hard because you need to identify what I'm measuring, how I can see the result at the end. If you cannot see, then it becomes very hard for you to understand the concept of earned value. But if you know how to measure it, you can leverage your project management control to the next level.